missing. I'm really pissed about that. But we're going to go on. So, uh, we were designing or playing with this idea of translucent concrete. And to do that, we're using these optical fibers. I stole this from uh, Whitney's Christmas tree. I stole it. I appropriated it from Whitney's Christmas tree. It was the first one. Okay, so we'll drop the link in. Um, but last week, we went and made uh, a translucent concrete, concrete that allows uh, some light and color to pass through it. And what we did is we started out with this 2 inch by 2 inch by 2 inch cube mold. And what we did is we drilled a whole bunch of holes in it. We drilled a big old hole in the bottom for that, that, that light to pass through all the optical fibers. And then I think we drilled or had the intern drill somewhere around 200 holes, smaller holes around the side that we fed the individual optical fibers through. And then what we did is we used that Hobart mixer, which you can't see down frame, but you know we've used it before, um, to make a cube of grout, just like this. And the mix was 440 grams of uh, cement, or total cementitious, 990 grams of uh, sand, and I think it was like 245 grams of water, so 0.47 water cementitious. You can play with that as you see fit. But we met and made a nice uh, fluid grout and then filled it up in this cube. Now we were recycling, so we might see some lift lines because there's like a half an hour between each placement. Um, but here's that, that bunch of optical fibers. We're going to cut this off first. Uh, we're going to rip it and strip it and see if it works. 